Hey guys, it's Legend Stella here. Um, I guess this is gonna be another story time since, eh, why not? I guess <laughs> I have nothing better to do aside from Banjo Kazooie, but that's later. Anyway, um, let's see what was the thing that I was gonna do for this one. Right. Yeah, this was gonna be a little weird because um. The first story time I did was talk about, um, VBS stuff. Yeah, I didn't go into too much detail on that because I was kind of scattered brain. I had no idea what I was doing, but I still don't know how, what if I have any idea what I'm doing here. But, um, this one's gonna be something that happened a little more recently. Um, the VBS thing happened, um, like a year ago, almost to the day. Um, because I'm not going to this year's VBS. But anyway, this this one was, I think it happened a couple of weeks ago, maybe? I can't remember. Maybe it was a month ago. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I was at the Wednesday Steidl... Steidl? Wow, I'm so great at this. <laughs> study. Study group. You know, you go to study group and you study the Bible, which is much more... Uh, along my style, I guess. Um, and I've been going to the church group, church youth group, for a while now, like two, almost three years now. Because, well, first of all, free food. Second of all, I don't know, I get to meet people and get stories from them that are weird, that I can laugh at them for. <laughs> anyway, to the thing. I was sitting down for dinner, and because they, 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 it starts at like 6, 6.30, so we eat dinner, have like an hour worth of dinner, maybe, and then we go study. Anyway, so dinner. I sit down, and there's this kid that's uh, younger than me. She's, um, I'm not, I'm not going to say any, like, specifics or anything, but she's younger than me. She's, uh. I believe in middle school, currently, as of this date. Um, and let's call this kid Shelly. Like, shells. Shelly, why not? Um, so, Shelly, uh, actually took a liking to me for some weird reason. Um, <laughs> a, a while ago? Um, she kind of, you know, she, she has, um, a bit of like social awkwardness, but I don't really know why she, you know, hangs around me. But that's for another bit. So Shelly, um, since she's hanging around me, talking with me and stuff about things, um, as I sit down for dinner, she sits down across from me at the table. And um, she's the type of girl to, she's the talker versus me being the listener. So... You know, she was kind of just talking about anything and everything and, you know, stuff like that. And that's, that's fine. I don't really care. I mean, you know, I don't exactly welcome it. But, you know, if someone wants to talk with me or talk at me, then that's fine. That's fine. You know, yeah, whatever. So, she starts, I mean, she had talked about other things, but those really didn't really, like, catch my attention for this type of video because... I mean, you know, she got a sunburn. Like, how is that story time material? <laughs> anyway, um, this thing, she started talking about this other kid that's around her age. I, I don't think I really ever got her name. If I did, I forgot about it. <laughs> um, but this kid... I will, for the sake of this thing, call, um, Yellow. Yes, that will be this kid's name. Yellow. So Shelly starts, you know, complaining about this Yellow. <laughs> about Yellow. Um, and Yellow is actually quite mean, bratty, you know, kind of standard bully material, which is, you know, it's, it's kind of weird hearing about that caring about, you know, this, this yellow person, because, <laughs> and don't worry, I'm not, I just pulled this name out of my ass, so I, no racial stereotypes connotations implied, 
or intended or anything. Just her name is yellow. <laughs> and, uh, excuse me, Shelly, Shelly, uh, I might have to cut that out. Anyway, take two. Since Shelly is, is a Christian girl, um, this bully girl, Yellow, is this this bully girl apparently also comes from a Christian family, but she's she's uh, anti-Christian. She's she likes to say, "Ooh, I worship Satan" and stuff like that. <laughs> and you know, kids in middle school just do weird weird shit all the time. Um. So you know, with with Shelley being, you know, a Christian and Yellow being not a Christian, <laughs> they get into fights. And I don't mean like, oh, Shelly is minding her own business and Yellow is just picking on her. No, no, no. That would have been me with a bully because I'm not the type to make fights at all. But Shelly, she likes to talk back a lot. That isn't necessarily a bad thing, but that's not how I would do it, because that's just not how you treat people. I'm sorry. Anyway. So, um, basically, Shelly gives me a bunch of, um, various stories recounting the various times that Yella has done some bullshit to her. And, you know, it, it it's normal, standard bully material. I mean, <laughs> Yellow tried to, you know drown Shelly once in the pool because that would that yeah. and also you know tried to you know is a brat to her and you know standard bully stuff but the thing that got to me that was that was really weird was um you know since okay people like yellow the kids that come from these Christian families you know the parents are Christian or they're even Catholic, or you know, Protestant, or whatever Christian Christian families, they end up doing this thing to their kids where they pressure them into following their religion in a way that's um, it, it only guarantees that the kid pushes away from the religion. You get me? Um, and considering that yellow was A, the bully type, and B, probably doing all of her bullshit for attention, as is all bullies do. As all bullies do. Um, you know, it's really not surprising that she would, that Yellow would go on to do, you know, stupid Satan bullshit. You know what I mean? And it's not like, you know, she's, I don't know, really, to be honest, if she's actually being inducted into a satanic cult. I mean, I don't really know. That's not really my place to know. But, you know, it, sound, it sounded like to me that, you know, Yellow was just being weird. You know? Just trying to get attention from this Christian girl by shocking everybody and saying, ooh, Satan is good, or whatever the frick. <laughs> I don't know how these kids work. I wasn't ever like that. Anyway. And, you know, so, basically, Yellow's whole thing just doesn't surprise me at all. Um, but Shelly over here is, like, so indignant, like, but, but, the God is, is the Lord, and, and he's the best, and I don't understand why he would, she would just, she would just diss him like that, and I'm just, like, sitting here, like, it's not about God. <laughs> it, it's really not. Um, me being, um, at the very most agnostic, at the very least atheistic. Not everything is about God. Okay. I don't like the obsession that Christians have with God. I don't care if these he's the supreme being. I have better things to do than constantly think about God. I mean, how am I going to get any work done if, I, if I'm, if i like, zealously doing stuff to honor God? Like, 
who cares? I mean, the whole attitude just is, is, is weird. Um, but I can't, in my position, I can't really say that to these um, extremely Christian peoples. Because, first of all, they, they cling to that ideal like it's literally like the only thing that keeps them sane. Which it probably is, to be honest. And, second of all, because they cling to this um, ide ideology so hardly, or so tightly, they get extremely defensive about it. And being defensive means that they get angry. Isn't that lovely? So, I'm just sitting here mostly listening. And I'm a good listener, so I could just let this all slide in the rug. I mean, I could have said something about it, but I thought I'm not very good at conversationally arguing. I could write up an essay, okay, after, you know, not even a day of, of thinking about it. I just, you know, write out an outline, type up a draft, blah, blah, blah. And I do really well in that. Because I have time to think about it. I mean, really think about it. And think of think my arguments through and stuff. I'm not in conversation. I'm not built for conversation. Um, so even if I did try to argue against, you know, her whole thing, I just would have been slapped into the ground. Eh. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that. No one's a fan of that. So, you know, I'm just stuck sitting there like, you know, Girl, not everything is about God, because it really isn't. This this yellow, this yellow, it wasn't. It didn't concern God or anything. Okay, had nothing to do with God. God wasn't. She wasn't trying to. I don't know, piss off God or something. I don't know what Shelley thought it really was because it wasn't. It was just to draw attention. Bad attention is just as good as good attention. That's why bully types are the way they are. So, it's just interesting knowing that, you know, Shelly, in, in, her, in her blind, almost, faith to a being that might not even exist, I say might not, because who knows. You know, she has so much faith in this potentially non-existent being that she ignores the fact that... Or maybe she... I know, I know that she's only in middle school, or junior high, as some people would put it. Um, but... Still... She's, she's coming into her own steadily, slowly, but steadily. And y you really need to realize that, you know, when people do that, it's not, it's not about the thing that they're, that they're dissing. It's just about the attention. And I know that very well, because I've dealt with family that's like that. I might go into detail more about about um my dad. But that's that's for later. Um the only reason I bring him up is because he does the same shit. And I've seen it my entire life. So, you know, I guess if if anyone that watches this wants to get something out of this the story that I haven't really gone into much detail over. Aside from the whole faith thing, which I still think is weird. Um, the thing to get from this is that... I, I've lost my thought. <laughs> Christ, I suck. Um, if, you're, if you think... if What the bullies... Or whatever, you know, people that are like... Or are, are of the bully type. It's not about the thing. And this goes for adults, too. 
some people do not like anything. And that isn't just like a personal thing. It has to do with just attention. It's either attention or they're trying to demean someone else to make themselves feel better. When, when you're a kid, this kind of comes hand in hand. It's an attention thing to validate yourself and also to put other people down to validate yourself. So, you know, it, it's a tomato tomato. But with adults, it becomes a lot more sinister. So, you know, if, you know, any, any of these Christians out there, they think it has to do with God, but it doesn't. It has to do with people. Because that's how it always is. God doesn't care. I mean, he, technically, you, yeah, yeah, I guess you could say he does. But he doesn't... <sighs> He doesn't expect you to defend his honor. Not in the way that, you know, these Christians are going about it anyway. What God would rather want you to do is to look at this person that is doing, I don't know, anything to look cool, to, to get any attention, whatever it is, whatever it might be, drugs, smoking, um, saying satanic bullshit, anything, you know? having an affair, anything, to look at them and look beneath the outside veil and truly judge what their motivations are. And if their motivations are to completely shit on other people, don't, don't, don't endanger yourself. It's not worth it. Sure, fine, you can go to the effort of reaching out to them. And I kind of do believe that most people have, you know, at least some semblance of conscience. But there's a point at which you have to, you know, draw the line. When do you draw the line? That depends on the person. But you have to have the confidence the self-worth in order to draw that line. In, in my case, I would draw the line rather early because I have no patience for it, especially haf after having spent my entire life under an asshat that thinks he can control me through, you know, shit that's attention-grabbing. Yeah, anyway. I would draw the line rather early, for my own sake, my own safety, other people's safety. If you have the patience to, you know, not draw the line until much later, then fine. But if you end up stuck in a situation where this other person can constantly manipulate you, and take advantage of your kindness, of your anything, anything that is good, in order to torment you further? Would God really want that? Would he? Evangelizing only goes to a certain point. Then you have to start defending yourself, because you have human rights. So, that, that, that went off on a rather dark turn. I did not intend to do that, but I guess, you know, things have to be done <laughs> at, at some point. So, um, you know, I, I have tons of stories right here in this, um, notepad thingy. Um, and probably the majority of them will come out to be, um, little life lessons stuff, because that's that's typically how I work in the world, you know. Um, I don't do entertaining stories, I do moral stories or stuff like that, you know. Taking experiences and critically thinking about them in order to broaden my um, moral horizons, I guess? Or just, you know, wisdom. Broadening my wisdom so that I can take into account all these experiences 
and avoid potential bad ones with them. I guess. I don't know. And maybe I can share those things. Maybe that's maybe that's what these story times will be. Instead of just plain entertainment or me ranting about an opinion that really doesn't matter. You know. I'll try to help with anything. I can't help with all things, but you know. I can try. So thanks for watching. Um if you liked it, like my, my my stuff <laughs> with all the stuttering and stuff, um, then you know, like it, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Um, I'm gonna be doing Bubble Gloop Swamp and Banjo Kazooie soon, probably. Um, so I'll post you know gaming vids, some more story times, art stuff. I don't really know. I'll just have to. You know, see what I feel like. But anyway, thanks for watching if you've watched all the way to the end <laughs> with all my stuff. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye!